uh, we continue on our discussion on Gibbs sampling. So this is the third third part of the uh, of the discussion. Uh, previously, we we showed how to calculate for the background frequency counts or the probabilities that each of these residues occur in the background. And uh, the next thing we do is we try to uh, remember in the first part uh, we uh, for the Gibbs sampling we try to uh, we chose a a sequence for sampling and if you remember the uh, in the first part I think we chose the first sequence uh, as the sequence for sampling and so we isolated uh, that sequence and the remaining sequences which were unchosen these were the sequences we used to build the probability tables and so now we have this probability table here uh, which was explained uh, how, how we calculated these values in the previous uh, discussion earlier so now that we have these, this table here it's time to use the, the sequence we chose for sampling and this sequence here is the first sequence remember we have four sequences and we chose the first sequence for sampling uh, we do an iterative process uh, for this sequence here so here we uh, there are actually 10 um, residues for this sequence here and since our Gattaca motif is uh, 7 residues long then you can actually have 4 positions for the Gattaca motif you can start here you can start here, you can start here, you can start here. If you start here, then you end here. If you start here, then you end over here. And so you have these four uh, possible positions for the motif uh, for the first sequence, which is our chosen sequence for sampling. Now, uh, we have four positions, possible positions for the motif for, for the chosen sequence. And we choose. Uh, we try to calculate for the probability that the motif is in the first position, in the second position, in the third position, or in the fourth position. Now, how do we calculate for these probabilities of where the motif is? If it's in the first position, in the third, or in the fourth, or in the second? Uh, and the way to calculate this is uh, we simply multiply the probabilities. Uh, we simply multiply the probabilities for each of the positions given the sequence of the motif for a given motif position and then we divide it by the product of the probabilities uh, of those residue identities in the background let me try to explain that so for the first position here uh, you have this sequence here A C C A P G A for the numerator here uh, we're, we're trying to calculate A1, which is this 0 0.16. Uh, P1A stands for the first position, and the first position is an A. So we're trying to calculate, uh, we're trying to obtain what is the probability that the first position of your motif is an A. And we use that from the table here. From the table here, the first position and you, what is the probability that in the first position you have an A as the residue identity it's a 0 0.1 and you put the 0 0.1 there for the second position what is the probability that you have a C and you, you simply refer to the table for the second position what is the probability that you have a C there and it's a 0 0.3 and you put the 0 0.3 there and you just repeat the process like for instance for position 7 position 7 is an A so what is the probability that you have an A at position 7? And you cross-check against this table and you see that at the 7th position, you have an A over there. And so you put the 0 0.1 there. Now you divide this uh, product here by the background, the probability, the product of the probabilities of the background frequencies. So what is the probability, for instance, uh, that you have an A in the background? And so you just look at the table, what is the probability that in the background you have an A, it's 0 0.31 and you put a 0 0.31 there. Now for the second position, which is a C, 
what is the probability that uh, in the background you have a C so you just look at the table and it says 0 0.23 and you repeat the pos uh, you repeat this procedures like for instance for position 7 uh, you have an A there because you have an A here so what is the probability that you have an A uh, in the background which is uh, which tries to simulate what is the probability that you obtain an A by random chance so the probability of getting an A in the background or by random chance is simply this number here 0 0.31 and you get this 0 0.31 if you multiply all of these probabilities and you divide them by the product of these probabilities in the denominator then you would get something like 0 0.16 which is the number here now once you obtain the number which is the this number here corresponds to the probability that your motif exists at position 1 meaning your motif starts here and the next thing we do is we try to calculate for the probability that your motif starts at letter C at this second position here and it ends here at C and so we just repeat the same procedure here uh, like for instance here uh, we calculate for the probability that uh, you obtain a C in the first position since now our first position here is over here and then we calculate the probability that you have a C again in the second position uh, since now your motives we assume that your motive starts here so what is the probability that you obtain a C in the second position you just look in their table the second position probability that you obtain a C is a 0 0.3 and then uh, you just repeat the same procedure and you should get something like 0 0.13 and then you repeat it for the third position. Uh, here we assume that your your motive starts over here at the third position. And then we calculate again for the probability that your motive starts at the fourth position. And you get this table here, which summarizes uh, the probabilities that your motive would start at uh, these given positions. Now what do you do once you have these probabilities here? The next thing you do is you try to normalize them meaning that uh, this number here you divide it by the sum of these numbers here so it's like 0 0.16 divided by the sum of 0 0.16, 0 0.13, 0 0.26 and 0 0.017 and you should get something like 0 0.28 and then you do the same for 0 0.13 uh, divided by the sum of this one and you should get, you should get something like 0 0.23 and then here for 0 0.26 it's simply uh, 0 0.26 divided by the sum of this one. Notice that this is like times 2. 0 0.13 and 0 0.26 is a factor of 2 and so the normalized uh, values have a factor of 2 as well. And then finally for 0 0.017 you divide it by the sum of this one and you get this one here. Now once you have the normalized probabilities the next thing you do is in the Gibbs sampling method is you you, uh, you choose a random motive position for the uh, so here we try to sample a random uh, position uh, we draw a random sample from this probability distribution here so uh, we have to it's like you're drawing a lot but you're uh, but the the probability of obtaining a certain value or a certain position is weighted by these values over here so even though you're drawing, you're, you're trying to randomly choose between 1, 2, 3, and 4, but the probability of choosing a 3 is higher because you have a weight of 0 0.46 than the probability of choosing a position of 2 than 0 0.23. So it's very random in nature. You're trying to choose a random position. You're trying to sample uh, randomly a position, 1, 2, 3, and 4, but the probability of hitting one position uh, position 3 is higher because it's 0 0.46 and the, the probability of sampling a position of 4 is very very slim because it's 3% uh, only and so let's say we we did a random sampling uh, and we obtain a random sample of 0 0.2 because it, uh, here we have uh, we have a 0 0.23 or a 23% of uh, getting obtained for a position 2 uh, let me rephrase that. For position 2, you have a 23% chance of uh, being chosen. And so there's still a, uh, a substantial chance of choosing 2, even though your position 3 has a 
almost a 50% chance of being chosen. So here, we chose a 2, and so uh, the new motif position for the, for the first sequence is the second position here. And this is how it looks like. For the first sequence, the new motif position uh, based, on the, based on the frequencies uh, calculated from the unchosen sequences is the uh, second position.